October 7th, 2010. Just in case you find this camera, let it be known that I'm being held captive against my will. <laughs> By these people. Her. And him. I believe our destination is Des Moines, Iowa. But given that she has a winter coat on, it could be somewhere in Canada. Please stay tuned as I will give you updates on our whereabouts should I come up missing. Thank you for your concern. We now have only about a hundred miles to go. My captives have mocked me, ridiculed me, beat me and used me for a slave. Now they're pretending they want to feed me, but I don't know why. She continues to laugh. <laughs> Mocking me. Starving me. Starving you? He tries to act innocent. He's not. Allegedly, over this mountain, or bridge, Des Moines, Iowa, lies ahead. My chocolate is almost gone. I've eaten all my supplies. <laughs> I have no way out. Remember this face. I don't know how, but we have made it to the Marriott. Miss Ritzy thinks she's all special because she has this... Oops. She has this thing on her. And now she's all gloating because she does not have to pay to get in the show, and we do. I could come all the days and not have to pay. We have to pay. She gets in free. <laughs> mm. yep. We'll see about that, who pays later. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually proof that we have arrived. It took forever going through the parking garage. Yes. Now we're trying to see where we need to go. He's way ahead of us because he thinks he's the man of the pack and he's leading the way. But he Little does he know. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's in store for. But we're going to keep playing. You can tell they're quilters. Because they've all got funky bag and funky clothes on. Stay tuned. This could be done. Or not done. Fun. Mama Bird Grits is not happy because her quilt is hanging up crooked. She was caught trying to fix it by the police. <laughs> and they yelled at her. Show them. Show them. I was trying to get these wrinkles and see. crinkles out. See? See how it's all bunched up? It was flat when I sent it to them. It's not flat anymore. She's not happy. I'm not happy. But there's, it's okay. There's other They're meeting at their secret spot, having some kind of little groupy hug fest. Long lost friends, you know. <laughs> Hadn't known each other for two years. Well. Yes. Luckily, I don't have to be involved in this. Get over here. Get her face. Make her be guilty too. We show up. She caught me. <laughs> oh, see, hello. Say hello. And um, when you see the bizarre video, uh huh. And we'll see her. Yeah. Hello. And then this is my husband, Lauren. And they'll go on for days with this, so we will um, bypass this happy little meeting. This is a view from the skywalk overlooking the whole quilt show, which is really quite neat. And Arlene is pointing at her quilt, which is over back in that corner. That corner back there. Oh, maybe not. She's wrong. Now she's looking. She doesn't know. But this is all pretty kind of cool up here. Wish you were here. Okay, we have officially left the show. We had a splendid time, spent all of our money and ate all of our chocolate. We've been in a traffic jam thing for, oh boy, over an hour going five miles an hour because I-80 East was closed. Oh, this would be good. A little shot of the sun over the river. We don't know what river this is. Mississippi. Or, oh, or what town we're in. It's even. in Mississippi, a little but, while we'll um, be in Illinois. But uh, all we know is we have gone nowhere. And we just don't know what time we'll be home now because we've been sitting here, but we have a lot of fun goodies, and we can't wait to get home to uh, start uh, playing with them. And so we still follow those Look people. Flooding. Oh, flooding. Oh, I can't see through the bars, though. So. But, so I 
I'm sorry about the bridge there, but at least that's a really neat thought.